Good day, my dear students. Welcome to another session of learning activities. But before we start our discussion on quarter to week six, let us have a short review regarding expositions. Which of the following pictures on the right are examples of expository writing? We have fairy tale, news articles, diary, atlas, editorial article, user manual, comics, and math textbook. And which of them should we stick on our clipboard? We have 10 seconds to answer. the diary, the math textbook, and the news article, you remembered all too well our previous lesson. Two thumbs up for you. Now, I would like to ask about your greatest fear. What do you fear most? For some, it is height, snakes, or cockroaches. But for some, it is speaking in public, which is, by the way, our topic for today because the learning competency that you have to master is to write an exposition or a discussion on a familiar issue to include key structural elements and language features. And at the end of this session, you are expected to describe what public speaking is, differentiate a prepared speech and an impromptu speech, and employ the techniques in public speaking. But what do we mean by public speaking? According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it is the act or process of making speeches in public and it is the art of effective oral communication with an audience. Public speaking is also synonymous with oratory. Before, public speaking is only done face to face to a live audience, but because of the technological advancements we now have, it can be done virtually in real time or through the form of pre recorded speech. Public speaking is done either to inform, persuade, or entertain. If the goal is to inform, the speaker or the waiter focuses on providing information to overcome confusion, clarify misunderstanding, or just simply learn new information. Like this. According to the World Health Organization, vaccine efficacy has been shown to reduce over time as the virus-fighting antibodies it stimulates naturally wane. In turn, the Philippine government has started the rollout of administering the booster shots to people. Everybody who is 18 years old or older who had his or her second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine at least six months ago is encouraged to get a booster. If the speech is meant to persuade, the speaker attempts to change attitude, beliefs, behaviors, or policies. Rebecca Lindsay and Luan Dalman penned that there is an increase of 0.08 degrees Celsius in the Earth's temperature since 1880. Some of the adverse effects of global warming are rising sea levels, extinction of one out of six species, reduced food availability, and more frequent and more intense extreme weather events. It is common knowledge that human activities play a huge role in these alarming consequences. It is just right that we, ourselves, take all the necessary actions to combat climate change. Now, if the goal of the speech is to entertain, it does not necessarily mean that the speaker should be funny. It means to hold the audience within an emotional state like making them happy or sad or even leave them wondering through the speech story. The speaker tries to elicit emotions in order to persuade the listeners to act. Mina used to be a bubbly, confident girl until one of her posts went viral. 
her simple uploaded photo on a popular social media site gained so many criticisms that from then on, she never logged in to her account again. She also refrained from socializing to avoid receiving further negative comments about her appearance. She even committed suicide for she felt like it was a mortal sin not meeting everyone's beauty standards. In reality, there are many minas in today's generation. Many people are affected by the derogating remarks they receive from social media. My advice is to be a little kinder and to be more considerate. As cliche as it may sound, but the adage, think before you click, is totally true. Now that you know the three purposes of speech, let us talk about the two types of speeches that one can deliver. These are the prepared speech and the impromptu speech. A prepared speech is one in which the speaker has been given the topic ahead of time, has had time to conduct background research on it, and had practiced delivering the speech. When giving a presentation or speaking in a business meeting, this type of speech may be used. On the other the hand, the impromptu speech, which is defined by Merriam-Webster Dictionary as not prepared ahead of time, made or done without preparation. In short, an impromptu speech is one that a speaker gives without any prior preparation on the topic. It is a spur-of-the-moment kind of speech and is less common in society. You ready for our in the first activity? Get a notebook or a paper and a pen. You are going to identify the kind of speech you will deliver in each situation. You are going to write whether it is an impromptu speech or a prepared speech. The first situation is a cousin of yours will celebrate her 18th birthday. You are one of the 18 well-wishers. Number one, yes. It is a prepared speech. Number two, as a top student of this year's graduating class, you were asked to deliver a valedictory speech. You got it right. It is a prepared speech. Number three, on the day of the symposium, the speaker had an emergency, so you were assigned to give a talk. That's right. That is an impromptu speech. Number four. You were designated in a fundraising activity next week to give a speech that is meant to convince people that the cause is worthy of a donation. Excellent. That is a prepared speech. As you were digging in your dessert, the party host invited you to render a toast speech for the honoree. You got it again. It is an impromptu speech. Good job guys and girls. Everyone will agree that public speaking, whether in front of people you know or a crowd of strangers, can be nerve-wracking. Here are some techniques which were taken from your module to help you make your speech as impressive as possible. One of the techniques is know the purpose of your speech. Is it simply to inform them or to persuade them into something? Would you want them to be entertained at the same time? Learn everything you can about your listeners. This will assist you in determining your wording, level of information, organizational pattern, and motivational statement. Number three is watch your stance. 
when you are in front of an audience, you must maintain proper posture. It allows you to feel calm and confident on the inside while also appearing calm and confident on the outside. It conveys high status, implying that the audience believes you have something worth listening to. The next one is using gestures, but don't overdo it. Natural movement during a speech is an indication of a good public speaker. Hand gestures and even small steps across the stage can be effective if they are natural, purposeful, and not overdone. Movement can make you appear more at ease and help your audience connect with you. The next one is watching your values. You must always keep in mind that there are various people with different personalities, beliefs, and perspectives when discussing a specific topic. Make sure that you are not rude while trying to emphasize a point. The next technique is using a variety of stress, juncture, and tone. Stress is a word that is used to emphasize a point, while juncture is used to give the audience a chance to think about something that was said. In here, you pause. And different tools can be used to switch or alter the mood of the speech. These three elements can change the meaning of the talk. The next one is avoiding awkward fillings. Um, uh, and like are all fill words that we all use without even realizing it. However, using these words excessively during a speech can make you appear unconfident. Break the habit of using these words if you can in order to become a better public speaker. Another one is being comfortable in presenting yourself. Relax and stay focused so that you can better manage your thoughts and you can speak with clarity. And the final one is making eye contact. Maintaining eye contact aids in the development of rapport with your audience and keeps them engaged in your speech. It also makes you ooze with confidence. Now, get ready for our second activity. Our second activity is entitled, Yay or Nay? Meaning, you are going to write yay if the statement is correct and nay if it is not. Public speaking is also known as an oratory. That's right, it's yay. The most common type of speech is prepared speech. Did you write yay? That is the correct answer. An impromptu speech must be memorized perfectly. This time, it's nay. Not knowing your audience is not that important in giving a speech. That is definitely a nay. It is helpful to throw jokes from time to time. Great! It's yay! Use highfalutin words to show off your intelligence. Certainly a nay. We should avoid saying um. Yes, it's a yay. Practicing your speech is a big no as this will only make you more nervous. Definitely a nay. Telling a story will make your speech interesting. Yes, that is yay. You should avoid questions from the audience. Certainly, nay. If you got it correctly, good job, guys! 
to sum up our lesson for today, there are two types of speech, a prepared speech and an impromptu speech. It may aim to inform, persuade, or to entertain. And always remember to follow the techniques in order to give a memorable and impressive talk. And for your evaluation, you have to record a video of yourself delivering a two-minute speech about a current issue. You may choose from the following topics. Learning in the new normal, environmental effects of COVID-19 pandemic, and mental health as a global problem. You will be graded according to the following criteria. The purpose of the speech was clearly demonstrated. Careful consideration to the audience was given. Proper posture was maintained all throughout the speech. Effective nonverbal communication. Was I hope you learned a thing or two. And to end my discussion, I'm going to leave you with this thought by Dr. Marty Groth. Words have incredible power, they can make people's hearts sore, or they can make people's hearts sore. Remember that guys, to be careful with our words. And these are my sources. Thank you for